Hi students, welcome to NIRS education. So in the previous session we have seen the advantages of the rainwater harvesting. So that is the one of tech, one of the technique in which we are going to utilize store the water that is very precious. So now let's move towards the conservation and uh, the management of uh, the water resources. So already we know that uh, some of our natural resources like uh, the soil, water and air requires the proper management and attention. So in our country uh, we are again and again facing the problem of water scarcity. So the groundwater level goes down in the summer seasons. So as a result during the summer times uh, we are not able to get the proper amount of water from the municipal or uh, the corporation which supplies the water. So that will be uh, very restricted in the summer seasons because of the water scarcity. So at that time our uh, wells, rivers become completely dry. So in uh, those frequent situations of uh, water scarcity, uh, it is going to force us for the environmental biologists to seek the various means of water conservation methods. So they have suggested uh, many of the points so which are going to avoid uh, the misuse of water and uh, wastage of potable water and uh, uh, they are going to uh, measures uh, for avoiding the joining of the drainage to the rivers and uh, the <clears throat> unwanted things that we are going to uh, put into the water bodies or uh, the industrial weights uh, which uh, are going to join the water bodies so with that one uh, many problems are going to arise uh, not only to the human beings uh, as well as uh, to the uh, organisms uh, which are living in the water and which are dependent on the water bodies. So uh, some points uh, which are suggested by the environmental biologists uh, so those are the development of uh, the integrated watershed plan uh, for the drinking purpose, for the irrigation purpose and for the uh, industrial uses. So the development of uh, the integrated watersheds. So as uh, uh, we know that uh, in our uh, uh, fields uh, we are going to create uh, uh, the Krushi uh, Honda uh, that is uh, the watershed. So uh, that is uh, uh, encouraged by the government and uh, much more uh, subsidies also uh, available for the uh, <clears throat> people those who are uh, uh, completely dependent on uh, the agriculture and uh, their uh, uh, government is giving more and more opportunities to develop themselves so like that uh, the development of uh, integrated watershed plan uh, for the dinky, drinking purpose for the irrigation purpose as well as uh, uh, for the industries so the next one is uh, the adaptation of uh, the various uh, uh, flood control methods so uh, we are facing uh, uh, many times that uh, the floods are uh, going to uh, collapse they are going to spoil everything and uh, we are losing our uh, daily lives uh, lives uh, uh, schedules uh, by means of uh, the floods so in the 
2018 and 19 we have seen uh, in the North Karnataka as well as in the South Karnataka uh, so many peoples they have lost their uh, homes as well as uh, uh, they have lost their completely grown crops so it was a, a very uh, biggest problem arised in the previous year so we have to adopt the uh, methods which are going to control the floods and uh, the next one is uh, the transfer of uh, uh, surplus water to the uh, water deficit uh, uh, that is uh, deficit basins by interlinking uh, of uh, indian rivers so this is the very uh, wonderful scheme that is uh, our government is going to think to join the one river to the another river uh, by which uh, by means of that the all the rivers are going to connect with each other and water is going to uh, be there uh, for uh, uh, 12 months in a year so that will be uh, interlinking of indian rivers is uh, such a uh, great uh, uh, thinking of our government uh, so that we have to wait for uh, some time uh, to come in act uh, uh, of these all uh, thinkings so the next one is uh, to identify the over exploited areas of uh, the fresh water uh, extensive uh, hydrogeological uh, surveys uh, are done so uh, we have to identify the fresh water bodies we have to uh, manage we have to conserve all those and uh, whatever the things uh, they are going to pollute the water bodies we have to stop all them and uh, the ground water is recharged by the artificial means so the ground water that is the main source of uh, the all the living things by which uh, the <coughs> the water and as, as well as the plants are going to get uh, the water uh, so that is going to be increased or it will be recharged by the artificial methods also so the last point that is to avoid the wastage and uh, misuse of water so that is uh, in our hand only so uh, the water which is coming in our hand in our taps that is uh, not coming uh, by a very easy method so after uh, uh, the lot of uh, expenditure only we are getting uh, uh, a glass of water in our taps so we should not waste uh, and uh, we should not misuse that water so there is an uh, urgent need of uh, uh, mass uh, awareness uh, programs so that is uh, by public and uh, the private agencies and uh, individual also so uh, we should uh, uh, take the awareness of uh, the avoiding the wastage and uh, misuse of water so then only it is possible to conserve the valuable natural resource like uh, the water so uh, in these means so uh, at the uh, in the year of uh, 2001 uh, uh, the indian one of the greatest indian uh, sociologist as well as the biologist uh, uh, mr rajendra singh has uh, awarded uh, uh, the waterman waterman award that is actually uh, awarded by uh, the royal maxis award so that is uh, the very valuable award uh, uh, he got in the year of uh, 2001 uh, for the uh, a very extraordinary technique of uh, harvesting the rain water so he has uh, reviewed uh, age old indian technique of uh, the collection of uh, rain water in the archex dams so that will increase the level of water table that will recharge the wells as well as uh, uh, the storage greenery uh, that uh, restores the greenery in the um, <coughs> forest hills in the rajasthan so the rajendra singh uh, uh, is uh, now considered as uh, the waterman of india so like this everyone has to work in the conservation of the natural resources so then only we will get the succeed and uh, our uh, next generation will be very happy with our activities so otherwise it will create more problems so everyone should get uh, the awareness of uh, 
the conservation of the natural resources thank you for watching have a nice day